Hello everyone, welcome to the first tutorial on Arduino Mates Android. Throughout this tutorial, I'm going to create Android apps using MIT App Inventor. So for this, you need two devices, mainly two devices. It is not going to focus only on two devices. So firstly, you need a Bluetooth device. So you can use a HC05 or HC06, any of the Bluetooth device you want. And another one is the Arduino Uno. This is the main component that we are going to interface with our Bluetooth device so that once we create our Android app, we can receive data from our Android apps and doing some process on our Arduino. You can use uh, any of the Arduino that you want. But for this tutorial, I'm going to focus only on Arduino Uno you know, because this is one of the famous uh, Arduino hardware that is uh, available in the market. So many people may own this one. So if you don't want to use this particular one, you can also use uh, go for uh, Arduino U Nano, Arduino Mega, so Arduino Leonardo, Arduino Do, whatever you want, you can use it. So I've logged into my App Inventor window and you can see that I have not created any new project yet. So the first project I'm going to create in this uh, tutorial is turning on and off LED. So first thing I'm going to turn on and off LED, I will call it as Hello World because this is my first program I'm going to call it as hello world then going to click on ok so you can see on your left side there is a palette that we can use to create our screen and you can also click on the blocks so this is where we have we have to create our program so first uh, for this uh, turning on and off a LED I need two buttons one is to send a on command and another one is to send off command. So before that uh, sending commands, we need to select our Bluetooth device and connect to our Bluetooth device. So I also need to select my Bluetooth device. So I need another button for that. So and also I need to know whether my device is connected to the Bluetooth device or not. So I need a text box for this. So you know what are the needs we need now. So first I'm going to pick a uh, list picker so this is allow us to pick a bluetooth device that is uh, already connected to our android phone so i'm going to change the width of the bluetooth device to fill parent and i'm going to edit the text as bluetooth so below that i'm going to put a label that this will indicate me that whether my bluetooth is connected or not so again, I'm going to text alignment as center and width to fill parent. Okay. And delete this text box and left it there. So I need two buttons. So I'm going to use the layout. So this will make uh, good when we um, put the buttons to it. And I'm going to use a horizontal layout. I'm going to change the width of horizontal layout to fill parent. I'm going to pick and place the first button. I'm going to change the text image for text as on. For the first button, I'm going to change the width to fill parent. I need another button to send off command. Now change the text to off and I'm gonna change the width to fill parent. So I'll create all the things that are that we need for this uh, app and make sure that if you want to make it more attractive you can also use an image for your buttons. So let's speak if you want to uh, change this to a Bluetooth image you can go on and click on the so image here and upload an image to the uh, buttons. And I'm going to place any uh, image to this now for the time being. So uh, we are going to connect to a Bluetooth device. So we need a Bluetooth client, pick a Bluetooth client and place it on our screen. And I need a clock. So this clock will make sure that everything is goes correctly. So I need a clock too. So everything we have completed and I'm going to block. So the first thing what we have to do is, so what my uh, app has to do when I, uh, before clicking the list picker. So the first thing you have to do is to, before clicking the list picker, what my app to do, app should do. So I have to set my 
let's pick elements to the available Bluetooth devices names and address going to list picker set it to set list picker elements to Bluetooth client available names and address okay so the first thing when you press the list picker it will show you what are the devices that has previously connected to your Android phone so that you know what are the device I we have to select so that's a reason we have when you click the list picker it uh, we have set this command so once you uh, click the Bluetooth de uh, device that you want to connect it with what the list picker has to do it has to set that particular Bluetooth address you have selected to its memory so that is what we are going to do in this step so after picking the address what it should do so it should if the if the address is picked by the user if the address is picked by the user let's pick a one selection can later on also change it selection yeah, okay so then if we select a Bluetooth device it has to uh, address pick its address and then it has to set the list picker elements to Bluetooth client one address duplicate this one paste it okay so we have now selected our Bluetooth device and once we selected a Bluetooth device we should know whether we have connected to that particular Bluetooth device or not so for that going to use a clock timer and if the Bluetooth client is connected if the Bluetooth client is connected if I connected my device that my Android device is connected to my Bluetooth client that has connected to the Arduino board and I should set the label set my label text to is connected so you can go on and pick the text and you can paste it here change it to text connected if my device is not connected then if it is not connected else I should set my label 1 to not connected so that's it we have created our first program see how easy it is to program uh, how easy it is to create an Android app with no experience you just started now and you have completed your first app so once you completed these things uh, we have yet to finish our app because that uh, two buttons are left I forgot that one so what it should do when I click the first button and what it should do when I click the second button just a few steps away from finishing our first app so when I uh, click this first button my app should send a Bluetooth text is on so I'm going to send a text you can click here see from the Bluetooth palette you can pick the when you click the first button it should send a text so you can set the text of whatever the text you want I'm going to set it as on So what it should do when I click the second button? So it should send a off as a text to my Bluetooth client. So yeah, now we have completed our first app. So what you have to do now is click on the build and click this app save.apk to my computer. Once the app is saved to your computer, send the app to your Android phone and download to the Android phone and install your app that you created now so I'm gonna finish this here and I'm gonna move to the Arduino side so this is how we have connected our uh, Bluetooth to my Arduino you can see here that I have connected the TX pin to the 10th pin and the RX pin to the 11th pin so usually people will connect to the available UART port that is uh, uh, 0 and 1 but I want to connect my 
Arduino to my computer so that I can use the serial monitor to know whether what are the uh, incoming messages from this Bluetooth device. So that's the reason I'm using the 10th and 11th pin and I am also using a software serial to uh, interface with my Bluetooth. So here you can check, uh, check with my program that I've used a software serial because that I'm connecting 10th and 11th pin as uh, serial for my serial communication with my Bluetooth device. And here you can see that uh, I have set a baud rate of 9600 for my Bluetooth device and I'm also using a, my serial communication between my computer and my Arduino. So I'm parallelly doing two communication that is one is with the hardware communicate hardware UART port of Arduino and other one is with the Bluetooth CL communication. So here you can see that this is the main loop our main program. So this will uh, our Arduino will always check whether there is any incoming message from the Bluetooth device. So if the Bluetooth device is uh, receiving any incoming message or a text this will start to build the text so if you see in uh, serial uh, serial communication how it works it will start to you know collect the data one by one so that's a reason here we are building the strings so if i send a on as a message to my bluetooth client that is connected to the arduino that it will first receive o first and n second so i cannot just like that uh, you know uh, receive all the let all the text as one so that's the reason we are building the string here the first letter will build first and the second letter will build second the uh, place it on the second so here we are constructing our text here so and then once we receive that uh, text uh, in this and and once we receive the text in uh, character c and building it with the state and then uh, the state will uh, hold the text the, whatever the text we are sending to the uh, Arduino it will be hold in the state variable this is a, just a variable you can change to any other variable if you want so here you can see that uh, we have called the string as state so we are building the receiving text and save it to the state this is a string and if the string is on then it, we have to turn the 13th pin that is where we have connected our LED it should turn high and if the string is off the 13th LED should go slow this is a very very simple program you can see here if we eliminated the software serial it will be even we can short this program and you can also see here how it works So that's it about the programming part. I'm going to connect my app to my Android device and I'm going to connect it. I'm going to connect through an AI companion. You all, you can also download an AI companion and MIT AI2 companion and install on your mobile phone to check your app in real time. You can see here. So here you can see that the Bluetooth is continuously blinking. Say it is not connected to any devices right now. I'm going to connect to my Bluetooth Android phone to the Bluetooth client. Here on the window you can see that <coughs> the LED has stopped blinking. Uh, the LED on the Bluetooth has stopped blinking. The reason is that I have connected my app to my client. So here on the serial monitor of my Arduino you can see that's the reason we are using the serial monitor for this tutorial instead of co connecting the Bluetooth to the uh, ETX and RX pin of Arduino we are using that for communication to our serial monitor open the serial monitor so if I say if I press the on button you can also check on the serial monitor that I have received on and you can see on my cam window that the LED has turned off I'm going to send a off button I'm going to uh, press the off button on my Bluetooth on my Android phone so here you can see how it works so this is the Android app that I've created it is not fully visible in the cam window
here I can see if I press off that does receive us off if I press on oops so whatever I do it is not visible at all okay oh yeah it is visible right now I'm going to press on is stating us receiving on text I press off there's receiving off text okay so that's it about this tutorial and thanks for watching stay tuned for my next tutorial with the next another video thank you